Hello, welcome to the Center Maths Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. In this week's problem, we're given the force function uh, f of x, y equals negative y, x, and c is the circle of radius 2 centered at the origin, oriented clockwise, and we're being asked to find the work done by f along c. So, the first thing that we should do is write down um, our equation for finding work um, uh, with a line integral. So let's go ahead and do that. So, we know that work is going to be given by the line integral um, along the curve C, uh, where f of r of t dotted with r prime of t uh, dt, and r of t is the parameterization of the curve. So the first thing we have to do is parameterize our curve, and then we're going to uh, step by step go through and find each of these components before plugging them into the integral. So um, we've got our curve is a circle of radius 2. So our per, uh, parameterization is going to be pretty obvious. So the per, per, parameterization of our curve is going to be 2 cosine of t as uh, the x component, and the y component is going to be uh, 2 sine of t. Um, so <coughs> r cosine of t equals x, um, r sine of t equals y. So let's go ahead and derive this. So r prime of t is going to be negative 2 uh, sine t, uh, 2 cosine t. And so now uh, we have r prime of t, so let's just go ahead and find um, f of r of t. So f of r of t is going to be negative 2 sine t, uh, 2 cosine t, so it's the same as r prime of t. So um, let's go ahead and find the dot products of these. So, um, when we got these together, we get 4 sine squared of t plus 4 sine squared of t. And if you remember your um, uh, you know, trigonometry rules and um, identities, then you know that this is equal to 4. So, we're going to be taking the um, integral uh, of 4 um, along the curve C. So we know that, um, that C um, is a circle, so it's obvious that um, you can pick any, um, any limits that, are, that describe a complete circle. I think the most obvious are uh, 0 and 2 pi. But since it's uh, oriented clockwise, if we pick those two limits, then it's going to have to go from 2 pi um, to 0 to show that it's a clockwise uh, oriented curve. So when we plug that in, we get that the work done by f along the curve c is going to be negative pi joules. So uh, that concludes this week's um, advanced knowledge bomb. Make sure you check us out on Twitter and Facebook, and uh, take a look at our blog at uh, centerofmath.org. Thanks.